In this question, we are going to figure out which of the following is the graph of the equation y is equal to negative square root of x. So the way that I'm going to show you guys is that we will make a table for the value and I will try to make a graph from scratch first. So I'm going to show you guys a table with several points and then we need to have the x and the y value. X is right here and then the y value is going to be negative square root of the input which is the x. Right, and let's think about which number can we choose for x. Well, let's use 0. Let me put down 0 right here, and let's work this out. If x is 0, then I plug into here. So I have negative square root of 0, and let's see what it is. Well, negative square root of 0 is just 0. So that's all. Next, I'm going to plug in 1 for the x. And if I plug in 1 into this x, we will have negative square root of 1 instead of the square root, like this. And then we see that square root of 1 is 1, negative 1 then, right? That's the answer for that. And what should I pick for next? Do I really want to use the number 2? Well, we could, but then you see that we have to work out square root of 2, right? And square root of 2 is like 1.414. In that case, we come out to be a, you know, a irrational number, so I cannot really graph it. What would be a better answer to use right here? Let's use 4, how's that? Because the moment I plug in 4 into the square root, let me show you, we still have the negative in front, and then the square root, and then I enter this 4 right here, instead of the square root. Well, square root of 4 is just 2, which is a much nicer number right here, right? And then don't forget, we still have the negative, so therefore we have negative 2. So as we can see, we have 3 points right here already, and let me ask you this. Could we have plugging any negative value for x? Can I use negative 1, for example? What do we get when we have negative 1 instead of the square root, such as I'm saying like this, negative, but then I put a square root around this negative 1? Well, this will get into the imaginary number, and there's no way for us to graph imaginary number on the x and y plane, right? We are not going to use negative numbers because it just won't work, right? When you are trying to graph it, it just doesn't work. We cannot graph imaginary numbers. So the beginning values will be 0 and then it keeps on going like this. And let me show you the graph real quick from scratch. So here is my x-axis and here is my y-axis. As usual, I do 1, 2, 3, 4 and then this is 0, but I have to go down. So let me show you 1, 2, down like this. Alright, so first we will have 0, 0, which is right here. And then 1, comma negative 1, 1 for the x negative 1 for the y, which is like that. 4 comma negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4 for the x, and 1, 2 for the y, down like this. And then, as you can see, the graph of this function right here, it's actually going to be a curve rather than just a straight line. So you are going to practice your drawing skill. You're just going to make it that like, connect the dots with a nice smooth curve like this. All right, so which of the following, which of this is the answer? Well, choice A is the answer, so that's it.